Oda Nobunaga One of the most recognizable warriors in Japanese history, Oda Nobunaga, was a charismatic leader as well. In 1560, he killed Yoshimoto Imagawa, who attempted to take over Kyoto and set the foundation of the unification of Japan. He made use of firearms in battles, a novel idea at the time. His death was from an act of betrayal by one of his own generals, Akechi Mitsuhide, who set fire to the temple he was resting at. However, Nobunaga committed suicide, a more honorable way to die. Miyamoto Musashi Perhaps the most celebrated samurai warrior of the years, Miyamoto Musashi was one of the greatest swordsmen Japan had ever had. His first duel was in the age of 13. He fought in the battle between the Toyotomi clan against the Tokugawa clan on the side of former, ending up defeated. He later traveled along Japan, winning numerous duels against powerful opponents. Musashi's most famous duel was in 1612, in which he fought against master swordsman Sasaki Kojiro and killed him. In later years, he spent more time for writing and authored the Book of Five Rings, which detailed various sword fighting techniques. Known as the warrior who surpassed death, Honda Tadakatsu was one of the fiercest warriors Japan has produced. One of the four heavenly kings of Tokugawa, he took part in more than a hundred battles to be never defeated in any of them. His major weapon was a spear known as Dragonfly Cutter, which inspired fear in every opponent. Tadakatsu fought in the decisive battle of Seki Gahara which led to a new era in Japanese history. Toyotomi Hideyoshi The successor of Oda Nobunaka, Toyotomi was a powerful ruler and warrior. Born in a peasant family, he slowly ascended to power with his skill off and on the battlefield. He ruled over a major part of Japan from 1585 until his death in 1598. Although he never attained the title of Sogun, Hideyoshi constructed the massive Osaka castle and waged battles to conquer Korea and China, albeit unsuccessfully. Soon after his death, his clan was obliterated.